Hey there. I'm going to talk to you today about spring yard work. The weather has changed. Everybody's getting outside to do all that cleanup that we have, haven't done in months. And what happens is people go outside and they decide they're going to do all of it in one day. And then they wind up in my office with back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, numbness and tingling down their arms into their hands, uh, headaches, um, sciatica, knee pain, um, you name it, they're getting it merely because they haven't moved their body or used their body in that way for an extended period of time in months or maybe a year for that matter. So we've got to be conscious about how we dive into our yard work. My first suggestion is really simple. Dive in in increments. You don't have to conquer it in all one day. I get that it's nice weather and it's your day off and you want to conquer it. Well, guess what? There's going to be another day tomorrow. There's going to be another day next weekend. It does not have to be done overnight. It does not have to be done today. The weather's going to be warm and cooler and warm and cooler, just like we've experienced here in New Jersey. So the reality is you have time to do it. You can, there's daylight savings time going on. So guess what? It's lighter out later. So you can come home from work. Great exercise. Have a meal. Go out. Do an hour. Come back in. You've done an hour. Do that on a regular basis. And then on the weekend, you can do a couple hours. Here's the catch, though. If you're going to do a couple hours, you have to break that up. That means you got to get upright. You can't stay bent over digging and pulling and doing all those things. You must get your spine upright. Because if you leave your body in a bent over position, your body's going to talk to you. And that's where you get the back pain, the neck pain, the pulling pain in the shoulders, the arms, the numbness and tingling down into the hands because you've absolutely fatigued those muscles that you haven't used in God knows how long in a position doing whatever in God knows how long and the body crashes and burns. And then you go to bed that night miserably sore, wake up the next morning, you're even more sore and you have no understanding as to why now you have numbness and tingling down your arms and hands or that sciatica is pinching the heck out of you in your butt cheek and you have an hour commute every day to work and you sit for a living on on the job at front of a computer and your butt's killing you, your neck's killing you, now you get a headache and we can talk for hours. So yard work has to be done. It is spring. Spring isn't a one day event. It's a multi week event. So you've got time. You don't have to conquer it all at once. A great way to warm your body up before you go out and do your yard work, if you're going to do it on a weekend where you've got more time, how about get up, go for a walk, 20 minutes, take your dog, take your spouse, take your kiddos, whatever, 20 minutes, engage the loved ones in the exercise, and then you go and you do some yard work for an hour. And then you get up and you make sure you have water next to you while you're doing your yard work so you can hydrate. And if you hydrate enough, you're going to have to use the restroom. And that forces you to get upright and move from that position to go use the restroom. And if you'll do that and only do it for a couple hours and then take lunch break. And lunch break should not be 10 minutes. Take an hour and be upright. Stop being bent over. Allow your muscles to relax so that you can go back in and do it. I wouldn't do it for 10 hours on a Saturday or 10 hours on a Sunday because that next day you're going to pay. Also, if you're not under regular chiropractic care, the reality is any problems in your spine are going to flare up like a wildfire in your body. So if you don't want to suffer doing your yard work, take that advice, get your spine checked on a regular basis. Let's find out what kind of problems you may have in your spine that you don't even know of and you don't want them showing up and crippling you from being able to complete your yard work or going to work or living your life, etc. Find us. I'm the chiropractor for you. This is Dr. Anita. You've been riding in the car with the Cairo from Mylon Family Chiropractic Center right here in Bayville. I look forward to our next ride. If you have a topic that you want me to talk about, please drop me a comment below. And I'd love to address any thoughts, questions, or concerns you may have regarding chiropractic and overall health and wellness. I'll see you on the next ride. Have a fabulous week.